seen as an, an enlightened personality who would uh, correct some uh, wrong economic policies by Sukarno. And then, of course, after a while, he became uh, uh, slightly uh, heavy on uh, the Indonesian people. But the basic reason why he uh, had to go in 1998, uh, apart from a number of factors, was also simply because he had become uh, obsolete in a way. Not only too old, but also no longer able to do what he was very good at, that is delivering the good. Of course, he was no democratic leader, he was rather an autocrat, but he had some kind of legitimacy as long, I'm talking about Sohato, as long as he was able to keep public order, no violence, at least no uh, extreme violence, and second, economic growth. 1998 was the time of the Asian uh, financial crisis and then Suharto could do nothing about that, so he had to go. And that's also how and why I believe Indonesia went through a democratization process where the elites, I mean uh, the ones we still have nowadays basically, were the ones who did support Suharto. They were the result of Suharto's policies and when he was no longer able to deliver the good, he had to go and they transformed into more acceptable political elites. So I would say most of them would be rather opportunistic to use your, your categorization. So, so we have now a new system which is working and which is, which is I mean, a very good system and which again has prevented the end of Indonesia. So whatever the deficiency, we should say this is a great thing for Indonesia and we, we are very happy about it. But what I've been trying to, to, to say in my paper, that's my second point, it's about SPY. I believe he, sorry, Papamba. He, Papamba is a very good person. I've met him a number of times. Not only is, is he good, soft, but he's quiet. He never gets angry, but he's also smart. He has a PhD, and he's, a bit, he's able to rule in a wise way. As a wise ruler, you mentioned the word uh, Ratu Adil. He's some sort of Ratu Adil, and that is the trouble. I believe he stands every chance of being re-elected. At least that's what the whole survey say. One of the reasons would be that there is no alternative. I'm sorry to say that, and, and I'm sorry for Indonesian democracy that apart from from Babam, you know, you know, you have Madam Megawati, who is a great person by her father, but as 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 such. She was the president once, and she did not prove that she could do great things for Indonesia. So I'm sorry, although she's a woman, and she's a lady, I respect lady, I'm glad we have a lady in the run. This is good thing. But as the next leader, I don't see if she's a good choice. Then you also you have Yusuf Kala. Yusuf Kala, we know because he's been in charge for the last four years. And he's been doing great things like the Aceh piece that was good, or even before he did good, good, a good job of the Morgan crisis. He's a, and for the economy, he was able to inspire a lot of trust from foreign uh, investors towards Indonesia. So it contributed nicely to rebuilding the image of Indonesia, not only as a democracy, but also as an economy which can run and improve. And people don't go to China only, they also have Indonesia, that was the message. But I'm afraid as a, as a, as a candidate for the presidency, he's Although he's still very dynamic, he's too old. Uh, and uh, uh, he does not have the same charisma as 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 uh, uh, Bong. He's not able to sing, or he does not sing as nicely as, as Bong. And uh, he's not a Japanese, probably. We haven't seen any announced Japanese yet to, to be the, the president of Indonesia. But my worry, you see, when I, 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 I mentioned the possibility of a relapse into authoritarianism. I'm not saying that SDY is an authoritarian. I don't think he is. He's a nice person. He's soft. He's not an angry man. He's not so, as, like so hard to. But he uh, still, he chose, he chose Puyono for many reasons. Because should choose, choose, choose uh, Puyono can really help him, I believe. But he will not
not be disturbed by Putin or no. And the worst problem is the uh, Indonesian mentality. You know, power is not, is not only a thing that you take, that you grab. It is also something which people believe you have. You, have. you cannot have power if people do not believe that you have power. Once, as soon as Suharto was seen as not having power any longer, he was naked. The king, when the king is naked, he's no longer the king. On the contrary, if you believe, if you believe that someone is a ratu ideal, if you believe that Papang Bang can do it all, and he can do great things, of course, but it's, 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 it's very dangerous for democracy if you put too much into a leader. He, would be, he has proven that he is a good leader. He, he might even be better with the help of Budio. But the expectations that surround him might put him into a case where he might become a gay quote unquote an authoritarian. That was my provocation. But it's food for the thought. Please think of that, especially the Japanese. I said in Japanese culture, you have confidence for democracy, but you also have confidence for.